All right, so this is an update on the robot drink project. So basically what we have here is a square terminal where we're going to take our drink orders and we have the Flexive Ryzen robot that is going to actually take those orders and make them. So if I zoom down here on the terminal, we can see we have an order with two items, a basic lemonade and a pink lemonade. We have a 100% discount and we're gonna go ahead and charge this to a person named I guess Jai in this case, I misspelled Joe. Let's go ahead and charge that. And a couple things just happened there. The first is that the Square Terminal obviously recorded that transaction so that I got paid. In addition, it sent a transaction to a receipt printer, which was intercepted. When I intercepted that transaction, I added it to the list of transactions that the robot needs to make and updated the UI, which you can see on the screen here, is currently making Jai's basic lemonade. What I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna create a new sale. And this time, let's make another pink lemonade order. And let's go ahead and give that a 100% discount, just like we did before. And let's charge this person. And let's see if we can spell Joe right this time. And we will charge Joe. And so what just happened there is once again, we intercepted that transaction going to the receipt printer. We popped it up on the screen and we uh, told the robot to go ahead and make that next drink. So the robot has this queue of drinks that it's getting from the square terminal. It's updating the user interface so that we're aware of those drinks. We can see the status of the drink and what was included in that drink and the robot will go ahead and make those drinks. What's cool is I can even go ahead and add maybe another basic lemonade with, you know, pretend we had a sugar rim and we can add modifiers. So this time I'm gonna give this 100% discount, review the item, go ahead and charge this person. You know, let's call this person Paul and let's go ahead and charge them. So you can see on the screen, it shows any sort of modifiers. So in this case, let's just pretend for a second that the robot didn't just pick up the cup, get a straw and get the liquid out of the dispensers, but maybe also added a sugar rim to the cup. Um, that's pretty comical that that fell off. I should really glue that. But you can see there's our drink uh, finished, all coming from the square terminal there. So let's go over all the moving parts and pieces that we have on the bench here. The first thing is obviously the robot itself. You've seen in previous videos the robot making the drinks um, via me triggering it from the Flexive software, which is Elements. But in the real world, I can't do that. I need to actually process a real transaction, take people's money, whether it be cash or it be from a credit card, Apple Pay, and then I need to intercept that transaction and make the robot make the drink. In this case, in front of me, I have a square terminal. This is the same terminal you'll see all over the world that people use in order to take transactions for their small businesses. If I were to add a basic lemonade to this order and a pink lemonade, to this order. In this case, because it's a test, I'm gonna discount it at 100%. And I'm gonna call this person Kyle, hit next, and I'm going to cash that person out. So a couple things just happened there. The first thing that happened is that the uh, square terminal is set up to send um, a receipt to this kitchen printer over here. Now the kitchen printer, normally a human being, would read off of that receipt and go and make the order. But in this case, we have a robot, and the robot is the one making the order. So what I did, because I wanted to guarantee that this worked even in offline mode, was I uh, set it up such that I have a Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi is not only controlling the robot via RDK, but also acting as a sniffer. The Raspberry Pi will intercept the transaction that went from the square terminal to the receipt printer, and it did two things. The first is it updated the user interface so that I could see that transaction. And the second thing that it did is it said the, told the robot to go ahead and kick off a uh, drink order. <clears throat> so um, again, the setup goes from square terminal to Raspberry Pi as a sniffer to receipt printer. And the robot also is connected to the Raspberry Pi. This is just a typical Raspberry Pi Model B uh, with eight gigs of RAM. Uh, it's running Ubuntu so that I can properly run the Flexive RDK. And uh, that's about it um, for the setup. So if you wanna see more about this, I do have all the software 
up on my GitHub, which I'll link in the description of this video. Um, but that's an overview on the setup that you see on the table. And with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time.